Hi. I'm I'm getting over like flu's older brother. Like around my nose is raw central. But prior to filming this, first of all, I haven't worn makeup in days. Um, and prior to filming this, I needed some like a renewal. Like my cells needed to turn over. I needed some deep hydration. And I just needed to look sexy. Oh my god, for some deep, 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 super nourishing exfoliation, I use these. These are the Aveeno Positively Radiant Daily Cleansing Pads. And Aveeno has two different types of these. They have the Positively Radiant, and then they have the, the, the one with salicylic acid. The one with salicylic acid is the clearing one. I do not use that one. The Positively Radiant is so, so, so good because it's a pad, and they're thick, and they're nice, and one is textured, and the other one is just like foaming. So I go to town on my skin on the textured side for a whole 60 seconds, and it literally makes my skin glow central around my nose literally it's like I blow my nose with sandpaper it's fucking bad so I go in with my uh, drunk elephant Lala retro whipped cream and this is a really really nice a really 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 nice moisturizing you kind of put down the top and the moisturizer comes out very hydrating and then I mixed it with this pharmacy honey savior all-in-one skin repair solve oh my god I wouldn't have a nose right now if I wasn't putting this like around my nose every time I blow my nose okay so skin's looking crazy I had like you know one of those like period pimples that they're like underneath the surface of the skin and they, they feel like a mountain and they hurt so damn bad but you squeeze and nothing comes out well with the luck that the Lord above gave me, it's not, I don't have my period, I'm not about to get my period, but I got one anyways. And so I just kept squeezing at it, squeezing at it, squeezing at it, and nothing came out. And look what happened. Uh, kind of same thing happened here. What else? So I'm in some serious need of some serious coverage and some hydration. I just need like a glow, like I just, I need... I need things okay first I'm gonna go in with my uh, Laura Mercier foundation primer in radiance bronze this is a little sample size that I got a while ago my sister got the full size so I made her give me some in a sample jar so I still have more I take a good amount of that and put it on there we go nice and glowy oh gotta get that paper or else my dog is literally going to attack it like it's a t-bone steak all right, next I'm going to go in with soft ochre paint pot and I'm going to put some on top of my blemishes. Since it's a little yellow, it does a really good job at concealing redness. And then I'm going to go in with my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation in number 128. And I'm totally like, literally a week ago, I was just like, let me see. Like, it'll be fun to just check and see how much foundation I have. What the fuck? I don't run out of foundations. Like I like I'm usually like on to the next one before I run out of one. But this one I freaking love and I ran out of it, so I had to buy another one. And I was like really eggy about that. It really got me in a bad mood. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go in with my Real Techniques Buffing Brush, which I just washed the other day, and I love it. It's so cute. And then I'm going to spray my skin with the Quick Fix by Urban Decay Priming Spray. I need a lot. I need a lot. My foundation is good. I'm going to go in with Urban Decay, whoopsie daisy, Urban Decay Naked Skin, ah, close, damn it, in medium light, on a young blemish, because that bitch needs to disappear.
All right, I did the best I possibly can. Now we need some concealer, need some concealer to lift me up, brighten me up. So I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Moisturizing Foundation Stick in Ivory. Now I really like this. I don't like it as a foundation. It's a bit too dry for me. So like, I don't bother. I tried it. I thought it would be like a nice little dupe for my for my makeup forever cuz one is $6 and one is damn near $56. No, it's like 50. But it is not a dupe. Uh it really is not. But first, I need I need some bakage. I'm going to go in with <laughs> Multitask brush by Real Techniques. And some bronzer. All right, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I'm gonna go in with Marc Jacobs Omega Bronze. Got this. I think last Christmas, my mama got it for me. My mama got it for me. Oh, look at that pimple! It just doesn't want to go away. change my battery am I done with bronzing am I done with bronzing put a little here contour the nose a bit I'm going in with the same powder same powder and an elf flawless concealer brush because why the fuck not Next, I'm going to go in with the Marc Jacobs Mirage Filter, and I'm going to use this bronzer right over here because it's ver it's like really gray, so it's good to kind of put back there to make it look really nice and kind of chiseled. And I'm going to go in with the Sculpting Brush by Real Techniques. Just like that. What next? Eyebrows. I'll be back. Okay, so I did my eyebrows. I didn't do soap brows today, which I usually do. I just um, kept it really simple with my cheap ass, fabulous ass, Wet n Wild Mega Clear Brow and Lash Mascara. It's very, very good. Okay, so soft Orca Paint Pot on the lids. Some priming go all over the lid with that just to make sure that our colors really blend seamlessly oh my god I just what you know what's a horror like a horrifying moment in makeup when you just like look down at your finger and you have mad like black shit or mad like a dark eyeshadow all over your fingers and you just look at your face and you're just like where did I touch it's just it's really horrifying I'm gonna go in with corduroy just a matte brown. Just use a matte brown. Don't don't even drive yourself crazy. And it's cool if you have fallouts. Fine. Go on later with some powder. Translucent and just get rid of it. And you're just gonna blend it out with a nice little pencil brush. All right, I'm gonna go in with my Real Techniques shading brush. And I'm gonna go in with corduroy, I mean, whatever matte brown you used, I'm gonna go in with that. Just go in with that. Take some on the tip of the brush and you just wanna make it darker around the edges. Okay, and wipe off the brush. My t-shirts are a mess. Like, 
I get so, I'm like a painter like paint the mountain and use the fuchsia and then um, never mind I just literally wipe all the colors on my t-shirt so all of my sleeve t-shirts are a mess uh, when the brush is clean, you just want to go and you kind of want to blend it out a bit. I'm going in with the same brush because I want something a little bit small. I don't really want to blend this color out like freaking crazy. I just kind of want to blend the edges out. So I want something a little bit small, a little bit more concentrated. So that's why... little tiny bit of pink mauve a little tiny bit these colors are really crazy pigmented really like literally tap my brush inside and then I'm gonna go in on the top of all of that and then I'm just kind of blend inward towards my nose and out just so it can look really diffused and gorgeous um, so for lid lid time for lid party, I'm gonna use gold glitter and I'm super freaking excited I got this super cheap amazing product from wet and wild I forgot how much it was like less than five dollars definitely and it's this like glossy glitter thing And it's like jam-packed with glitter and it feels like lip gloss and it's just super shiny and super beautiful so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of this and you can take some on a brush, you can take some on your hand, and I'm just gonna focus that all on the lid. Pretty much the area where we have none of that brown going on, that's where I'm gonna put this. And I like the texture, like I like that it's glossy. It'll pretty much like never dry out on you. And it's a breeze to use. If you have super, super oily lids though, I would definitely, definitely recommend a primer. I'm gonna go in with NYX's glitter in, it's just gold, literally just gold, and I'm gonna place some more, and since it's already glossy, you know, and you know, it's kind of adhering already, I don't need any like glue or glitter glue or anything, I'm just gonna like stick the glitter on top. So that's what we got. Uh, we're gonna I have to add some inner corner magic. Should I add inner corner magic? I don't think I need inner corner magic Eh, no, no inner corner magic Okay Lash talk Lash talk Number 43 for Mac They're gorgeous <coughs> 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 Okay, cool. Love those bottom lashes, girlfriend. I'm gonna go in a little bit with that yellow powder and we're gonna cut, bitch. This highlight time, oh my god, my favorite time of the day. Wow. <laughs> All right, I'm going to spray the skin. I'm going to go in with Pixi Hydrating Mist. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. And I'm going to go in with an elf. With an elf. And I'm going to use Becca Opal Gorge. What a glow, what a glow indeed. Okay, so I just put some soft ochre on my lips. I really like putting a paint pot on my lips. I just feel like it just mattifies, and it just, it's better for product application. I'm gonna go in with Strip Down by MAC.
first i'm gonna go in with anastasia um pure hollywood i literally have only worn this like once i don't really like this color but i saw it and i was just like oh let's make it work you know like i i don't I don't like this i'm gonna wait for it to dry <sighs> And I'm going to go in with Jeffree Star. This was his limited um, summer collection. And I'm going to go in with Nude Beach. It's like this really super pale pink salmon -y color. I really love it. Mmm. Mm, I didn't even notice that this smells different. Oh, yeah. I like it. Ooh. Okay. The lips maybe not for everybody because it's pretty pale, but I really love it. We're gonna go in with Opal again. One soggy. Hey, I didn't feel like putting on a clean shirt. Um, but this is the finished look. Pretty much done. Didn't feel like putting on any, um, blush. Who needs it? But, yeah, uh, you can totally disguise mankind into thinking that you are completely healthy. You don't have the flu. You don't have a cough. Your nose is not running a fucking marathon. It's that easy. So, I hope that you enjoy the look. I really like it. I really like the way that it came out a lot. Um, so, yeah. So, products will be down in the description box if you want to follow me on any of my social media. I have that down for you, too. <coughs> um, so, yeah. So, please don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs. Give me a thumbs up. And I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.